For two years, I've been sounding the alarm about our broken election system here in Arizona, and this past week has confirmed everything we've been saying. When we called for Katie Hobbs to recuse herself over a year ago, they ridiculed us. It turns out we were right. The fox was guarding the hen house, and because of that, voters have been disenfranchised. When we raised concerns and I filed a lawsuit months ago to get rid of the electronic voting machines, they said we were crazy. Well, it turns out we were right. On election day, nearly half of all polling locations had problems with tabulating machines and printers. Malfunctioning tabulation machines forced voters to wait in line for hours to exercise their sacred right to vote. I talked to voters who waited in line for hours. One man told me he went to a location and there was a three hour line because the tabulators weren't working. He drove 15 miles to another location and the printers weren't working. He drove another 15 miles and was finally able to cast his vote, but he's not sure it counted. Our election officials failed us miserably. What happened to Arizonans on election day is unforgivable. Tens of thousands of Maricopa County voters were disenfranchised. Now I am busy here collecting evidence and data. Rest assured, I have assembled the best and brightest legal team, and we are exploring every avenue to correct the many wrongs that have been done this past week. I'm doing everything in my power to right these wrongs. My resolve to fight for you is higher than ever. This movement started in Arizona and it quickly expanded to all 50 states. It's a movement of mama bears and papa bears and students and Arizonans who love this country, who want secure borders, who want schools that prepare their children for the real opportunities that are out there. It's a movement of Arizonans who want safe streets once again and want the drug crisis to come to an end. It's a movement of Arizonans who want prosperity and the pursuit of happiness. That movement is stronger than it ever has been. And I can promise you one thing. This fight to save our republic has just begun.